Hello Internet. Hi, my name is Scott Fernandez again, also from the Internet. I'm um, going to be doing walkthroughs of my bases. I already did one for my gear, so now it's on to my first uh, little lady. This is my first base in my most down as ridge. Her name is Darla, so she's my four string. Um, she weighs nothing. It's kind of impressive. She is a Carlo Rivelli, like a Sam Ash brand. Apparently something about New York since 1932. She is made of what from I can only surmise is cardboard. Anyway, so um, she is tuned. My lowest string is E. My second is a B. My third, uh, my third is a E again. And my highest string is an A. So it's E, B, E, A. It's kind of like drop D, but a full step up. Uh, I know most bass players tune a half step down, whatever. I don't know what that means. So this is a full step up, and I enjoy it that way, and I always have. Honestly, it's the only way I've ever really played a four string, so whenever I play a four string that's not in this weird semi-pseudo drop tuning, I don't really know. She, um, I put aftermarket EMGs in her, and they have now since been discontinued. I wired it without the preamp, so I have no tone control. I also put a super snazzy Gorilla Tape back cover, what what. Um, sh the strings are 10 years old, minimum, and they've been on three different bases uh, because I don't change strings unless they break. I have Gary, hello Gary, I use him as a very, very aggressive mute. different pieces depending on the situation uh, mostly for slapping <laughs> don't have to do it too terribly much for tapping because I can just palm mute it or just uh, I can clean that up myself <laughs> I can do just about anything with her except play with another band. She doesn't really play well with others. But, um, you know, the muting, uh, slap stuff. <laughs> Slapping, you know, slap techniques of a wide variety. <laughs> techniques wide variety finger style depending on the piece depending on the tune um, just really anything but mostly just have to, I can pretty much just play her by myself. Uh, she just doesn't sound, doesn't play well with others. How else can I explain it? Um, and that's her. She's got a crap ton of dead frets right around this area. And I tried to set the neck, um, but it, I think that it's too warped. So essentially, this bass is possibly the worst bass in the world, but I will never not play it. It's my favorite bass. I've had many an expensive bass, um, you know, tons, probably about six or seven very, very beautiful, just beautiful made uh, instruments, and I've sold every one of them because they, and what I realize now is they weren't this bass, and I really love this bass, and I really don't want to play anything else, and I will for gigs and for recording, but honestly, man, I, um, I play this bass about 
five, six hours every day, I rarely touch my 12 string unless it's to write music. Um, because I really prefer, honest to goodness, I prefer this instrument. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Anyways, so that's Darla. Hello, Darla. Say hello. Hello. Um, I'm going to do a rundown on my next one. Stick around.